Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Welcome back to my channel Jadi jika anda pertama kali hadir ke channel ini Selamat datang saya ucapkan Tapi jika anda pernah hadir dan kembali semula Tahniah kerana rajin dan sudi kembali Jadi dalam video ini anda akan lihat beberapa pattern soalan Yang berkaitan dengan gravitational force So apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula Okay, question number one. So, here we have two masses, MB and MC, where MB is 30 kg and MC is 100 kg. Alright, so question A, if a particle of mass 2 kg is placed at point A here, what is the net gravitational force acting on this particle? So, let's highlight the word of on this particle. So, on this particle referring to the particle at point A. Jadi, kita kena lukis direction of the gravitational force on point A due to mass B and gravitational force on point A due to mass C. Okay? So, let's try. At point A, the direction of the gravitational force on point A due to mass B. So, you can write F on A due to B to the left and gravitational force on A due to mass C is FAC and the direction is to the right. Okay, so now let's write the equation that we want to find the total gravitational force ataupun net gravitational force on point A. So we can write total FG at point A is equal to FAC, so positive FAC since the direction is to the right plus negative FAB. Okay, so let's highlight this sign negative since the direction of FAB is to the left, so it's negative sign. So now let's so now let's substitute the equation of FG. Okay, so the general equation for FG is equal to G times two masses over the distance between the two masses. So now we consider at point A, we put a particle of mass. So let's write as MA. Okay, so MA is 2 kg. So now based on the equation, so kita nak tulis to the equation gravitational force AC. Okay, gravitational force on particle A. Okay, due to mass C. So kita akan tulis G. MA, so MA dan MC, okay, jangan letak MB pula, MA dan MC because this is gravitational force on A due to C, okay, and over R. Okay, jadi untuk R ni, ramai yang tulis kan, uh, R saja. kalau saya, saya suka tulis RAC. So, RAC referring to the distance between particle at point A and the mass of C, okay, so RAC squared, boleh? Minus G A B mass A times mass B over so R A B squared. Okay, so now the trick is look at here R A C. Okay, the distance between A and C bukan 10 cm, bukan 50 cm, tetapi A to C adalah 40 cm. Okay, so now let's continue. Since in the equation we have GMA, right? So GMA here, GMA, and this is also GMA. So I want to factorize this equation. So let's write GMA and then put bracket MC over RAC squared minus MB over RAB squared. Okay, so we have all the values, right? M A M C R A C M B R A B. So let's substitute all the values. So G gravitational universal constant. Okay. So let's put six point six seven times ten power of eleven negative eleven. Sorry. M A is the mass of particle at point A. So two kg times M C is given one hundred kg over R A C is forty centimeter. Make sure you change to meter. So, 40 centimeter is equal to 0 0.4 square. Okay, so minus 30 
over 0.1 squared. Boleh? Okey. So, apa lagi? Ambil lah kalkulator. Tekan kalkulator elok-elok. Tekan kalkulator betul-betul. So, we can write equal to total gravitational force. Okay. Uh, of a particle at point A is equal to negative 3.17 times 10 power of negative 7 newton. Ok, apa kata awak cuba tekan kalkulator, cuba check betul ke saya kira ni. So, from this answer, we can write the magnitude. Ok, the magnitude of the gravitational force. Ok, at point A is equal to 3.17 times 10 power of negative 7 newton. Ok, so this is the magnitude. And how about the direction? So remember the direction. So you can write the direction. So negative sign means that the direction is to the left. Alright. Or we can write that the direction is towards mass B. Okay. So kita finish example 1A. So now look at the second part. So... If that 2 kg particle is placed between mass B and mass C, determine the location where the net force on the particle is zero. Kalau tadi, a particle of mass 2 kg, kita letak dekat point A, which is the position of point A from mass B is 10 cm, kita dapat lihat that the net gravitational force ada nilai, bukan equal to zero. Kali ini, soalan B tanya, if we have 2 kg particle, and we want to put that 2 kg particle at any point okay, between B and C. Okay, kita nak letak uh, kat mana-mana lah point antara B dengan C ni. Di mana bila kita letak particle 2 kg tu dekat situ, the net gravitational force on that particle is equal to zero. Okay, jadi kita tak tahu kita nak letak dekat mana. So, let's try. Okay, saya padam yang ni dulu. So, I want to proceed part B. Okay. So, means that here we have MA, sorry, MB and here is MC. Okay, so let's say this is the distance from the center to center. Alright, so for example, we put a particle. Okay, let's say at this point. Uh, at this point lah, kita tak tahu kat mana. Okay, okay kita tak tahu dekat mana. Alright, so let's label this as MA. Boleh? Now... We don't know what is the distance from mass B to mass A, to point A. So, we just label the distance as X. Okay. And another one. This is 50 centimeter. Ataupun kita terus tukar kepada meter eh. 0 0.5 minus X. Boleh eh? 0 0.5 minus X. Ingat eh. Distance from MB to MC tadi dia dah bagi 50 centimeter. So, kalau kita tak tahu berapa nilai dekat sini, kita letak saja X. Okay, and then the remaining distance adalah 0 0.5 minus X. Okay, and then let's write the condition. Given that, okay, so it's given the total gravitational force at point A is equal to 0. Okay, so let's write the equation. Total gravitational force A is equal to FAC plus negative FAB. Okay, sama macam tadi tu lah, negative. Jangan lupalah kita lukis direction of the gravitational force on A due to C, FAC and gravitational force on A due to B. Okay, uh, so yang to the left kita akan letak negative. So now let's substitute the value of total gravitational force on A. Soalan dah bagi tadi zero. So, kita letak 0. So, FAC minus FAB. Alright. Okay, jadi bila macam ni, kita nampak eh. Kita boleh pindahkan FAB to the left. So, it's equal to FAC. So, the only condition that the net gravitational force on point A ataupun on particle at point A is equal to 0 when the magnitude Okay, when the magnitude of FAC is equal to the magnitude of FAB. Magnitudenya sama tapi direction dia yang berbeza. That's why FAB kita letak negatif. Boleh? 
So now FAB is equal to FAC. So let's substitute. So G mass A mass B because this is FAB over the distance between A and B squared. Jangan lupa. Equal G mass A mass C over RAC squared. So bila kita tulis macam ini, you boleh nampak yang kita boleh cancel adalah G, obviously. And then the mass of particle at point A, MA. Jadi kalau soalan mention a particle. So soalan sebut a particle that is located at point A. Ha, dia sebut itu saja. Kita tak tahu berapa mass dia. Jangan risau, awak boleh teruskan saja calculation. Sebab dekat sini you boleh cancel. Okay, boleh nampak eh. So, kita boleh substitute MB where MB is 30 kg over RAB squared. So, RAB is the distance between A and B. Kita tak tahu berapa, kita hanya letak X sahaja. So, let's put X squared. Is equal to MC. MC is 100 over RAC. Kita dah labelkan tadi A to C is 0 0.5 minus X. So, let's substitute 0 0.5. Minus X. Squat jangan tertinggal. Okay. So now look at here. Kita ada squat here. Kita ada squat here. Alright. And then kita kumpulkan semua yang ada squat in one side. Untuk mudahkan kerja kita. Okay. Untuk mudahkan kerja kita. Supaya kita tak perlu expand 0 0.5 minus X squat ini. Okay. Kita tak nak buka. Okay. Bracket dia. And then buat quadratic equation. No need. Okay, so apa yang kita perlu buat, kita rearrange sahaja equation kita. So, kita akan dapat berapa tu? 0 0.5 minus X over X. Ha, ada squared tadi kan? Equal to 100 over 30. Okay, ha, so kita pindah dekat tepi ni tak muat. Alright, and then now let's take the square root. Okay, take the square root for the both side. Sebab apa? Kita nak cancel yang ada squat ini. Okay, boleh. So, kalau kita tekan calculator, okay, kita tulis tu dulu. Okay, and then kita tekan calculator square root 100 over 30. Kita akan dapat berapa? Okay, ha, cuba kira. So, 1.8. Eh, 1.826. 1.826. Okay, so saya cuba selesaikan. Ini adalah matematik lah. 1.826x. Okay, x warna atas. This one. And then let's solve for x. So 0 0.5 is equal to 2.826x. Boleh eh? Therefore, x is equal to. Ha, cuba kira. So x is equal to berapa? Okay, so saya dapat x is equal to 0 0.18 meter. 0.18 meter. Okay. So 0.18 meter based on the diagram yang kita dah lukis ini tadi. X ini 0.18 meter is the distance from mass B. So 0.18 meter kita perlu letak partikel tadi. Partikel of mass 2 kg kita perlu letak dekat mana? Kita perlu letak pada point 0.18 meter from mass B. Okay, so ini jawapan kita untuk question B. Boleh? And then C. Okay, tengok C ni. Okay, saya saja je letak soalan C ni. Okay, kita baca dulu. If that 2 kg particle, sama macam tadi. If that 2 kg particle is placed between mass B and mass C, determine the location where the force on the particle due to mass B, maknanya FAB, is equal with the force on it due to mass C. Ha, sebenarnya soalan C ni adalah sama je cara penyelesaian dia dengan soalan dengan soalan B. Ha. Okay, kenapa saya kata sama? Dia bagi condition. Okay, kita tulis dekat sini untuk C. Dia kata dekat mana kita nak letak partikel okay, between B and C tadi if the gravitational force on that particle Okay, on that particle Fa, okay, due to B sama dengan gravitational force, okay, on that particle due to mass C, Fac. 
Ha, ini condition dia. Okay. Cara soalan tanya berbeza tapi jalan penyelesaiannya sebenarnya sama. Kenapa saya kata sama? Untuk soalan C ni kita mula macam ni kan? So awak, kalau awak perasan kita buat soalan B tadi. So dekat sini kita dah tulis FAB equal to FAC. Jadi kita boleh teruskan penyelesaian soalan kita. Okay sama je macam ini, ini, ini dan seterusnya ini. Faham ke? Ha, jadi kalau dia berkata sama maknanya magnitude dia sama. Direction tak mungkin sama. Direction dia kita dah lukis dah tadi. FAC is to the right, FAB is to the left. Okay. Jadi kalau kita nak totalkan benda yang sama total force okay, on point A is equal to FAC positif okay, positif tambah ha, total kan tambah negative direction negative FAB because the direction is to the left so kalau nilai dia sama contoh you ada RM10 tambah negative 10 kosong lah kan so dia akan jadi total FGA is equal to 0 dan ini kalau tengok ini adalah ayat yang refer kepada soalan B soalan yang nombor 2 ok jadi untuk soalan B dan C, penyelesaiannya sama, sebiji sama tetapi cara soalan tanya sahaja yang berbeza. Boleh? So kita dah jawab soalan B dan soalan C tak perlu kita jawab lah sebab jalan penyelesaiannya sama cuma kita kena faham. Okay, ha, ini FAB is equal to FAC dan FAB akan equal to FAC only when the gravitational force on that particle is equal to Zero. Boleh? Okey, kita berhenti dekat soalan nombor satu dan kita sambung dengan soalan nombor dua.